Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Cast. I'm your host, Seishu, and for the first time in many, many, many years, maybe, I'm actually on the screen. And that's mostly thanks to this guy sitting right in front of me right now, and his name is Brian Caparici. Brian's a photographer based in Canada, a wedding photographer. Uh, he's also turning out to be a wonderful, wonderful blogger. Uh, if you don't know Sprouting Photographer, you do know now, uh, because you really need to go there and check it out. Brian, thanks and welcome to the show. Hey man, thanks for having me on. You know what? I'm I'm really impressed that you actually got my last name right too, which is always hey, it's off to a good start. I love hey, it. <laughs> man, you know, we're all we're all like family, you're paisano, right? I'm so happy that we can see your face. This makes me smile. Oh, well, of course, of course. <laughs> uh, listen, you know, it's been a while. I had to go shave, had to get a haircut and all this stuff. Um, to be honest with you, this is this is actually the continuation of a series of interviews I'm having with uh, presenters who are going to be presenting at Inspire Photo Retreats, a wonderful conference. Uh, I can't wait to go. It's going to be in February 2015. I know you're going to be there. Uh, let's talk a little bit about you first. What What do you do exactly? You're a wedding photographer. You're 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 just a, a man of many talents. And so let's <laughs> let's let's find out about you. Yeah, I, I take pictures from time to time. Um, okay, that's good to know. I'm so glad you could join us. <laughs> I, I'm I'm a full time wedding photographer, uh, portrait photographer as well. I do uh, you know family boudoir business that kind of stuff as well. Um, I've been a full time photographer for going on ten years now, which you know in and of itself for me is kind of just a weird realization. I did a family portrait last week, and it was the first time that they were like, "Oh yeah, you you did our family pictures ten years ago," and I'm like. 10, has it been 10 years? Oh my gosh, that's that's weird. <laughs> so so yeah, I've, I've been a full-time wedding portrait photographer for 10 years. Um, I've been teaching photography for about five of those years now and then just in the last year kind of taking that a little bit more seriously too. So Excellent. And that's that, where we're going. And you're teaching, when you say teaching, you're teaching through your blog, I'm assuming, yeah? Yeah, totally. So yeah. so I mean, I've, I've been, uh, I'm, I'm the chair of the Hamilton Niagara branch of Professional Photographers of Canada and I've been involved on both the national and provincial boards. So I, okay. I've been doing in-person teaching for, like I said, about five years now, just locally. Mm -hmm. um, but within the last, you know, year or, or just outside of that time frame, I've been taking things a little more seriously in terms of online education. So mm -hmm. blogging and writing and that kind of stuff as well. Okay. Tell us a little bit about Sprouting Photographer. I know I'm a big fan of it. <laughs> I, I mean, it's like one of the things that pops up in my Facebook wall and I go immediately go, I have to read it word for word. Uh, you've got some great content. I mean, literally just you've blown this place up uh, for photographers. Great content, useful content. You know, really, when I say useful, I'm, I mean actionable, mm. you know, really yeah. more than anything else. It's like you can read something that inspires you, but then it sort of leaves you like hanging. Mm. Yours does not do that. Yours yeah. takes some across the bridge and says, this is how you're going to do things. So tell us a little about Sprouting Photographer. What brought you to Sprouting Photographer? What yeah, yeah. So it's it's really interesting because that that um, that action of it being very um, you know implementable. If, I don't even know if that's a word, but uh, you know, creating content that is actually something that people can act on or do something with. That's mm -hmm. that's a very intentional um, decision that we made with Sprouting Photographer. And and basically, I'll give you the kind of you know thirty second version of it. But basically, um, being that I've been in the industry for the time that I've been in. Yeah. Uh, I mean, obviously, things have changed so much in the last ten years, and I mean, I, I know many photographers that have been in it for for significantly longer than me. My partner in spreading photographer, Rob, mm -hmm. has been in it for like thirty five years, and I mean, the changes wow. he's seen is just insane. But the thing that that I realize time and time again is there's so many great photographers in our industry. I mean, it's I think that we're in such an exciting time as a, as a creative industry because Absolutely. because the, yep. the 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 work that's out there is just like like mind blowing. Uh, but the thing that I have seen time and time and time again is that so many of those great photographers aren't able to make it as a business because often we come into photography because we love the creative side, right? We kind of catch that bug. We catch that that artistic side and that's that's what we do. I mean, we're, we are artists. We are creatives. But the problem is that is that we then start a business and, and you can't necessarily just have that creative mindset in business. With photography, I'm sure, I mean, you can appreciate this. I'm sure a lot of your listeners can appreciate the fact yeah. that it's it's really like 80 to 90% business and the <laughs> rest is creative. Absolutely. And so so that, I mean, I've seen that time and time again and so many photographers struggle with that business side because they just aren't naturally inclined in that space. 
So that's what we do with SproutingPhotographer.com is we're basically all about the business of being creative. So we're teaching uh, actionable, how-to, no-fluff, concrete ideas around pricing, selling, marketing, branding, customer experience, customer service, anything to do with business. And, and we appreciate and know that photographers' time is very limited and there's so much education out there in our industry. We didn't want to waste any of their time. We didn't want to, you know, I mean, I... I, I understand the inspirational space. I understand the sort of motivational speaking space. And it's great to go to something or read something that kind of gets you all fired up and you're like, oh, I feel I'm so inspired, right? And then and then at the end, it's like, okay, so what am I going to do with that inspiration? And most of the time, you know, you're going to walk away and feel great about it, but you don't really know what to do with that. Okay. And so what we do with Sprouting Photographer is it's always actionable and it's always something that they can implement in their business right away. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, tell us a little bit about your your presentation at Inspire. I know it's something that you've been looking forward to. Give us an idea, uh, give me an idea of why you decided this was the conference to go to this year. This totally. Year. I, I, I love the format of Inspire. I, yeah. I, I really, really appreciate uh, like the intimate sort of environment for learning. I think that um, a, it's better for uh, you know speakers that are able to to deliver a more customized and you know, unique and a personal message to to the people that they're speaking to, but also for those that are you know in the audience and attending the event, it's it's a much better kind of environment um, for to, to to attend just because you can get that one on one time. Like it's not like you know the speakers are coming in teaching and then you know they're they're flying out. It's I, that's what I love about Inspire is that they. I mean, in the conversations with with uh, arranging for me to speak at Inspire, that was one of the prerequisites is that I have to actually attend the whole com- and I love that. I yeah. love that I can actually have breakfast with everybody right. and 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 we can all learn from each other. and that's really what it comes down to. you know I mean, I, I think I'm probably going to walk away from Inspire having learned maybe even more than the attendees have learned, you know, because we can all learn something from each other. And that's what I love about that, that immersion type of education. So, so that's why I'm totally jacked up about Inspire in terms of my actual topic or discussion. I mean, you you obviously know I love business and so it's going to be, it's going to be around that. Okay. Two kind of topics in particular um, being, number one, being pricing, because pricing is something that a lot of photographers struggle with. They don't know where to start. They don't know, you know, e- even what direction to go. I mean, it's so easy just to look at your your photographer friend down the road and say, oh, well, they're charging $1,000 for this. I'm going to charge $1,500 or I'm going to charge $800. Or, mm-hmm. I mean, that's not really a quantifiable way to price yourself as a photographer. And so I'm going to be really getting into some of the mechanics and the, the nitty-gritty and the nuts and bolts about how to actually price your photography. And then the other sort of side of the equation is selling. I love the topic of selling. I know a lot of photographers, even hearing me say the word selling, kind of like sends, you know, like tingles up their back, right? But I I want photographers to understand that selling doesn't have to be a dirty word. It doesn't have to be something that they're afraid of. It doesn't even have to be something that they feel like they're getting into this pressure selling situation. And so my approach is stress-free selling, completely like, you know, no pressure and and no tricks and tactics and slimy snake oil salesman ideas. Okay. okay. So that's sort of that's sort of the summary of what I'll be talking about. I'll be talking about a obviously the importance of business for photographers, but then in typical you know sprout fashion, I'll be really diving into those nuts and bolts mechanics and and give attendees you know something that they can actually walk away from and implement right away in their business. That sounds awesome. To be honest with you, I mean, and, and February is about the right time to, to even start yeah. talking about these things, right? Totally, as, it's a great time. As, as mostly wedding photographers and even portrait photographers are probably starting to put their pricing together for the new year. I mean, they're still working things out. I'm sure, you know, when you come in and just have them all sort of set up, essentially, um, you know, well, you know, it, good things can happen. So it's it's a great, you know, I I definitely commend the the organizers for Inspire because the timing for yes. it is is literally perfect. I mean, we we all go through these phases, and and you know, photographers we have seasons, right? And and we get into Christmas season, and things get really busy with that, and the holidays and all that, and and everyone, you know, photographers are working around the clock, and then the holidays hit, <laughs> New Year comes, and everyone kind of like breathes this deep sigh of relief. We kind of <laughs> need a few weeks to break and to relax, and just to kind of of you know like make up for the sleep that we didn't get in the holiday season <laughs> yeah. and then comes february and that's where we are for inspire retreat and so i think that the timing is perfect Absolutely. to really start to to dive into those things and to dig deep into the topics and to you know uh, start to implement some change in your business indeed um so thanks brian i, I look forward to your your presentation at inspire um and thanks for inspire actually for making this possible for me to talk to you um 
guys, it, it, the links are down below. Uh, I want you to l click on them, uh, register for Inspire as soon as possible. I know I'm, I'm promoting it, obviously, because uh, I'm, a, I'm a partner. Uh, I'm a willing partner of, of Inspire. It's, it's, it, it, every year I've gone, man, I tell you, it, it's just I've, I've always left with feeling like I got to come back. I got to come back. And no other workshop, no other conference has ever done that before, you know. And so I, I, I urge people to just jump right in. Uh, if there are questions for you, Brian, can people ask uh, below in the comment section? Absolutely. Yeah, I'd be happy, be happy to because answer I know, questions. Because I know, you know, people may have questions about pricing or selling. For and sure. I think they want to get a head start, maybe not wait until February and, and sort of tap your brain a little bit. For sure. Bit, so. if, if I can actually give give a quick plug too for, for Inspire, uh, I mean… Sure. I, I'm a big believer in online education. I mean, obviously, I run Spreading Photographer. I have mm -hmm. a podcast. I do I do webinars. I do I I do these kinds of things. I love online education. I think it's a great space. But nothing can replace in person education and being beside somebody who's also working towards the same goals as you are, or being in front of a speaker that's there delivering a personal message to you. Nothing will ever replace in person education. And so definitely, I love that all the photographers, and I'm sure many of them listening to this right now, are into the online space, and there's so many great opportunities oh, out absolutely. there right now for that. Right. I love it. But let me really, really encourage you know, the, the listener or the watcher, watcher right now to, to really consider in-person education because nothing can beat that relationship that you can build over you know, a two- or three-day period or being in front of a speaker or being able to then go and ask a question to the speaker. The, nothing can replace that. So definitely, I encourage you, know, you to check it out. Absolutely. And uh, with that, hey, thanks again. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.